We've made some incredible progress with our combat upgrades. So, to begin with, let's do a quick tour around the place just to show you exactly what we've done. We will start off where we first began these upgrades in our civic district, which we come through into this area here for it. And as you can see, things have changed quite a bit. We now have the Combat Academy up and constructed here, and I believe this is now at Tier 3, just awaiting to be upgraded to Tier 4, but it's looking not too bad. We of course have the main barracks just beside it, now up at Tier 3, with two guard towers within it up at Tier 3 as well, and the third one just up there at Tier 2 at the moment. But we can come inside into the barracks build and I can briefly show around inside of it. Just a nice little decorative room in there, followed by the main room here, which will take you out into another area that then takes you down to that guard's tower. I believe this area, whenever it becomes tier 4, will maybe change a bit to allow a fourth guard's tower to be constructed. But we come back through into this and we go upstairs, and this is the top floor of it, which will take us through into this guard's tower here. So this is where the third guard tower has been constructed, and in fact, let's get Luella out here to upgrade this to tier 3 for us. And in the meantime, I'm just coming upstairs here to see what has changed, which the answer is not much. That is pretty much the state of our barracks at the moment. We still need to upgrade them to tier 4, which we will hopefully come on to later today. But just beside it, we have our tier 3 archery build, which actually looks not too bad inside of it. I quite like the fact we have the target range just on the opposite side, which I have seen our archers in training stand here and shoot down at them. So that's quite a nice touch, but we'll get this up to tier 4 as well, and we'll get even more archers in training coming to train here as well. And this area is pretty much then basically the template for all of our other military parts that we have out in our industry district as well as over in our agricultural district. So it's looking not too bad I think. Uh, we will get the roads here better fleshed out whenever we expand out more, but as you can see on the back, we've now managed to get the walls pretty much more covered. I believe that we can now pretty much walk all the way from one end of our civic district right down to the bottom part here of the military part of it, all alongside the long wall here, and I think eventually this will lead us down maybe over to the other side of our district, of our colony, sorry, maybe over towards the industry district. I'm not entirely sure yet. We are hampered by the river that now goes through this, so I'm not entirely sure what we are going to do with this part, but it's looking not too bad regardless, I feel. It's pretty much a similar story then with our industry district. Again, this district is separated by this large gate that we have, which once we come through into it, this is again a military part for it with the combat academy, barracks and archery build, which everything here then I believe is up at tier 3. I did see Cyrus there for a second, which I think he is down here constructing at the moment. Yup. So we've now got this wall better put down, all the way actually to the mountainside there, which is nice. And I believe that Cyrus is maybe just making us a stair that goes up onto it at the moment. So that's not going to take him too long to do. But because we now have this wall that spans all the way down towards the mountainside there, I would say this area is pretty much now capped off and I'm pretty happy with it. 
It gives this whole area a bit more protection from raiders, which is nice. We still have a bit of terraforming to do, but all in good time we can do that. And the same story once again, just with this side here. We will just need to fix up some of the landscapes around it to ensure that any nasty can't come from across the way over and into our colony. They are going to be hindered by lots of big brick walls. Finally then, let us go over to the latest project that we are all working on at the moment, apart from Cyrus, over at our agricultural district. Which you can see, things have progressed quite a lot over here already. We have in a lot more walls, and we have a lot of builds already up to the tier 3 mark. Now, the one major difference between the military part here versus the military part in the other districts is the fact that this technically isn't just branching off from our agricultural district. I've tried to give all of our districts some form of proper flooring, proper pathing around the place, Apart from the agricultural district here, which has this graph path inside of it, uh, which we have the railway system that just takes you down below, which is why we have that path system above, rather than the half bottom slabs of the industry and civic district. So because of that then, it's been difficult to decide a path that should go down into that military part of it. What I have decided to do instead then is denote that the military part here is both for our agricultural district and also for our main plaza whenever we eventually get it up. And we can denote that by the kind of beige and cream slabs that we have down here, which I think look okay. I'm not entirely convinced about them yet. But I think this is going to be the type of pathways that we will have all over inside of our main plaza. Which are nice and bright, and I think they do work a bit. Maybe it's just going to take a bit more of getting used to them. But we once again come through the gateway here into this military part of it, which has the same form of brickwork and all of the same forms of combat builds around here as well. And this is pretty much then where I have left our heaven builders. They have been making walls like there is no tomorrow. I have been going crazy with the amount of wall segments that we've put in. I can't begin to think how they are feeling about it. But things are coming together pretty nicely. I think we have three or four of the builders at the moment out here constructing walls for us. And that's pretty much going to cap off this military part and top end of the agricultural district just with nice big walls. So like I've said, we have been pretty busy with the combat upgrades here and we certainly have made a lot of progress I feel. But let's get on then with the rest of today's shenanigans, which will be getting these builds here, at least up to tier 4, and depending on the complexity of them, maybe up to tier 5 as well. So I've set a few builds over there to be upgraded to tier 4, and once they have finished constructing the walls, hopefully they will pick those up. But that still leaves us with two builders free, so what we will do then is get them coming around and starting to upgrade our other guard towers to tier 5 as well. At least that way, everyone will then remain nice and busy here in heaven. Now, as for hell, we've actually been pretty productive over here as well. The main difference between Heaven and Hell's combat areas is the fact that Hell only has three barracks and only one combat academy and one archery build. And to be fair, 
that is because we are slowly running out of real estate to place in a lot of new builds. But the main advantage then of not having too many builds to come around and construct then upgrade is the fact then we can spend a bit more time upgrading the ones that we have already constructed, such as our barracks here. So the barracks that we have on top here, alongside the barracks towers inside of it, are now up at tier 4, compared to Heaven's tier 3 ones. And I would say that things are looking not too bad inside of it. It's pretty basic compared to Heaven's one, apart from these multi-pistons that we have here, which if I flick the lever, we will slowly start getting up a wall inside of it and hopefully retracting once we put the lever back off. So that is supposed to stop the nasty buggers from maybe getting inside of the build here. Plus it's kind of fun to start trapping them in. I get the feeling maybe the shroom light is supposed to go up as well, but it's a work in progress with things. We do have all four of our guards towers now upgraded to tier 4 as well and I think they will allow us to come onto the second floor of the barracks and give us a bit of a view just around the place. This gives us quite a nice view of all of the agricultural district and main part of the hell colony here. And it's very pleasing to now see so many different guards all around our colony. At the top end of our industry district and educational sector, this is the very first barracks that was upgraded to tier 2 or 3. And right beside it, we have the combat academy and archery builds now better placed. And I think this whole area here is also looking pretty good. I believe these builds here are only at tier 3 at the moment and just awaiting to be upgraded to tier 4, which we will hopefully come on to later today. The archers could maybe be a bit better at their jobs here, especially if we are going to start trying to shoot at targets that we can't actually see, but I suppose that's why they're in training. But eventually we will get them up to tier 4 and then tier 5 and that will unlock a whole host of new researches that we can then unlock within the university. So that will be nice. And now onto the final barracks that we have placed down. Yes, we finally have it up and constructed. Although I don't think this is tier 4. Nope, this is only tier 3 at the moment. Of course, because this has been the last of barracks and barracks towers to be constructed, it's not yet up at the right form. We will get this upgraded to tier 4 ASAP actually. Let's just come in and do that right now. But afterwards we will get it and all of our other barracks and combat academies and archeries then upgraded to tier 5. So it's going to be a busy day in both heaven and hell here. Let's really crack on with it I think. And we will also come around and upgrade their guards towers here. Right Benicio, you're up son. So Adeline has picked up one of her barracks to upgrade it to tier 5 and she is already 95% supplied with things. So this is either a very simple build to make or she's just had a lot of items within her own storage. We are awaiting an armor stand, some end stone brick stairs, golden legs and a lantern and then she'll have everything she needs to upgrade it to tier 5. And much appreciate that there, Ghast. Really, really appreciate that. Benicio has picked up the guards tower to tier 5. It's maybe a bit more complicated for him to make. I can see some purple items towards it. 
No, you know what, actually, this is nice and simple for him to get as well. Julia has picked up her Combat Academy to Tier 4. I am not expecting anything too difficult here on the list, which indeed there is nothing here that's difficult at all. Emmeline is upgrading the Tier 3 Barracks to Tier 4. There is a lot of items that do go towards it, so I'm expecting that to take a little while for her to get everything in for it. But I will just allow her to get on with it. And finally, Germain has picked up the archery build to tier 4, which I assume is going to be very similar to the combat academy, which it does seem to be. Perfect. I will let him get on with this as well. In the open requests, I can see that Julia is asking for a soul torch, which the mechanic can make. He is just missing one piece of coal in order to make the actual torch part of it. Which I have plenty of coal, so that's no issue. I can get him those. They can make their own damn books. And Germain is asking for some cyan floating carpets which will require some cyan carpets from the Fletcher. We have plenty of cyan wool in our stocks, which is good. I will locate that and take it straight over to the Fletcher. And I know for a fact that the Fletcher here does know how to make these cyan carpets because I taught him it recently. Yep, there they are there, because there's the cyan floating carpets just underneath. So what we will do, son, then, is give you all of that, and you make those then for Jermaine, which that's already come off of the request system, and I think that's also the torch has now come off as well. Yep, nothing important there on the list. Perfect. Let's go over to Heaven then and see how they are getting on. Well, already I can see that we have made some fantastic progress with the wall segments here. In fact, I would say that we are pretty much nearly complete with it. I will maybe just need to spend a bit of time here terraforming down below. But so far, that's really not looking all that bad here. Ava has finished her wall segment at least and has moved on to a combat academy upgrade. Just awaiting in some horizontal oak paper frames. And that's Andy, literally just finished the wall there. Perfect, hopefully she will go pick up something else. Elia has finished her segment and has moved on to build the archery. And she is pretty much supplied for it as well. Just awaiting in some more horizontal oak paper frames and an item frame. Cyrus is constructing a big long wall by himself here, which I can't remember where that is actually, and I have found it. Right, okay. He is out here as well, constructing a wall heading this direction. Ah, uh, that's fine. I will let him get on with it. Andy, as we just seen, has finished off the wall segment there and has literally just picked up the barracks to tier 4, I believe. We are starting to get in a lot of sea related items, a lot of prismarine related items there. So that shouldn't be too difficult for her to do. We should have all of these things within the warehouse. And there is Cyrus right there actually, building away. Good job, son. Finally, we have Luella, who is upgrading a barracks tower to tier 3, I assume. And we are about 85% done with it, with not that much left for her to go. Awesome stuff then, heaven, right? I may as well just allow them to continue on with the good work. Especially because there is nothing in the open requests that I need to deal with. So I may as well then make myself useful and continue on with the pavement here for the main plaza. What's quite nice about all of the combat upgrades that we've been making is the fact that I feel quite safe now at night to continue on working by myself, knowing fully well that our citizens 
should now be protected with all of the guards that we now have running about. And also, doesn't our colony look incredibly beautiful even at night, the way it's all lit up there? How fantastic. That is Eva, now 100% supplied to upgrade the Combat Academy here to Tier 4, and we are about 70% done with it. And just down the way here, Elia 2 is now 100% supplied to upgrade the Archery build to Tier 4, and she's already made a fantastic start on it as well. We are 65-70% complete with this and that number is skyrocketing fast. So the tier 4 upgrades for these builds are actually going to be nice and quick. So we might get these up to tier 5 as well here, especially with the speed that you guys are building it. The barracks to tier 4 however, that's a different story seeing as it's quite an extensive build. Although in saying that, there is a lot of items here that are on their way to Andy so she can upgrade it, so it's just a waiting game really. And that's Loella just finished upgrading a barracks tower to tier 3 over in the Civic District. Good stuff. I'm hoping that she will pick up the one here next and upgrade it to tier 3 as well. Which she hasn't unfortunately, but she has picked up the guard's tower to upgrade it to tier 5. So when she returns to her hut, this will populate and we will see what she's going to require for it. Which, here are the items now for it. I already see some diamond swords, that's quite expensive. But the rest of it... Leather and green slate. It's really not that much for it, so hopefully the colony will get her the items she's requiring for it pretty quickly, and then we'll get the first guard tower up to tier 5. And that's Ava just completed the combat academy there, so that's the first one now up to tier 4. Let's come into it and see what we require to upgrade it to tier 5. Which, looking down the list, there is just a lot of concrete and green slate oak shingles. And that's pretty much it. So let's get Ava back out here then, and she can upgrade it to tier 5 for us. Although she has moved on to upgrade another combat academy to tier 4 first, which we know the items that go towards it are nice and simple, so I'll let her get on with it. And that is Elia just completed the archery build to tier 4. Of course she waited just until I left to teach the blacksmith how to make a diamond sword, but at least we now have this up at tier 4 as well. And let's get her straight back out to upgrade it to tier 5 too. The tier 5 upgrade to the archery build is very similar to the tier 5 upgrade to the combat academy. Just a lot of red concrete and green slate shingles that go into it. But I have seen that Elia has maybe picked up another archery build to tier 4 instead. Seeing as we need some dark prismarine in for it. And these other items all look pretty familiar. Well, heaven looks as if it's getting on tremendously here today, so let's go spend a bit of time in hell then, and assist them with their builds. Things are going alright here, albeit a bit slow, but Julia is out here and she's upgrading the Combat Academy in front to Tier 4, and is about 70% done with it. Next door to it with the Archery, we have Germain upgrading this to tier 4. He still has a lot of items that he needs to be brought to him, but we are 30% complete with this already. And just like that, there's the Combat Academy being upgraded to tier 4. So I will get Julia straight back out here and she can upgrade this to tier 5. And that's Adeline just completed the barracks to tier 5 across the way, 
let's quickly head over and check it out. Which, here is the very first tier 5 barracks of our colony here. Very, very nice. And because we now have it at tier 5, we can now come around and upgrade all of the barrack towers within it to tier 5 as well. And that was Germain just finishing off the archery build to tier 4 here. Damn, you chaps are making this hell of a fast today. Right, let's get him back out then. And he can upgrade this to tier 5 for us. And I have noticed a lot of diamond equipment that is going to be required for these tier 5 builds. So, let's very quickly head to the blacksmith then and teach him some new recipes. It is expensive for decoration, but I suppose we have enough diamonds now that we can afford to use them on this sort of stuff. Actually, I have just remembered a pretty important research that we can go for, because we do have the blacksmith up at tier 4, and that is the plate armor research which allows our blacksmiths to learn plate armor recipes, which are pretty high tiered armors for our guards. The only requirements for it are a blacksmith's hut at tier 4 alongside 32 iron ingots. However, we will require the university being at least tier 5 before we can go for it. So we will need to upgrade the university soon, so that we can start getting some of these pretty nice researches. And whilst I was just looking at those upgrades there, I had seen that Adeline had just finished yet another upgrade. I think it was this barracks tower here she upgraded. Nope, it was not this one, but I will get her upgrading that instead next. It was this one here actually. It's a shame that I can't really see it too well because of the way I've placed this building in. But regardless, I will get her coming around and upgrading all of the other ones here to tier 5 as well. And that's then this barracks fully complete. Well, there's the top end of the barracks tower there, and all that's really changed is the fact that we have some more slate shingles into it. So, at least that is going to be nice and easy for them to come around and upgrade the rest of them. I can just see the top end there of the new guards tower that is being upgraded by Benicio to tier 5. He's making some great progress with it actually. We are 90% complete with it and it too is very similar to the barracks towers just with this type of new roof that it's getting. So hopefully all of the other guard towers that we have around our colony will equally be as easy to upgrade as this one has been. Speaking of upgrades though... We are not really getting all that far there with the tier 4 upgrade to that barracks. But I do see her out here making a start on it at least, so I suppose I can't complain too much. And there it's complete just there. Good work Benicio. Right, let's get you out and upgrading some more. Adeline is an absolute monster whenever it's coming to these tier 5 upgrades. There's yet another barracks tower now complete. And I've seen that Julia nearly has everything she requires for the tier 5 combat academy upgrade. Just some nether sprouts to go. So, this really isn't going to take her long before she gets it up and running. The same story for Germain and the archery build actually. He now has everything and once he gets to it, we will start making some progress. Both the combat academy and the archery build are now 90% complete. So I think I will head down just to see them completed. Of which there's Julia just upgraded the combat academy. So this build is now at tier 5. It's final form. Good work pal, that's a lot of progress you've made here today. And she has now moved on to upgrade the barracks here to tier 5. Which after she's done that, I will get them coming around. Upgrading the barracks towers to tier 5 as well. 
and then this whole section is fully complete too. Just one more barracks and military post that we then need to construct and upgrade and then we will be laughing. Well, laughing at most of the mobs that we can hit, such as piglins. Maybe not like those chaps. But good job Germain, that's the archery, now up at tier 5 as well. Excellent work Hell, that is a very very productive day that you have had, and very very little deaths thanks to all of the combat upgrades. Let's go finish up in heaven and see what they've been getting up to in the meantime. Which Ava and Elia have made some fantastic progress here of their own, and that is the combat academy and archery builds now up to tier 4 here, so all we need to do is upgrade the barracks to tier 4 alongside their barracks towers and then everything here to tier 5. They have both actually moved over to this district and are upgrading the combat academy alongside the archery builds here to tier 5. So that's pretty good, I will let them continue on with it. And I've seen that Cyrus has made some good progress with the wall here as well. We are about 30% done with it, and Luella has made some terrific progress with the guard tower to tier 5 by herself. She is 95% complete with it, just awaiting in a few more lanterns. And then we will have this up to tier 5, and we can start going around and upgrading all of the other ones to tier 5 as well. As for Andy and the barracks upgrade here to tier 4, we are 70% supplied for it, we are 60% done with it, just awaiting in a few more items here actually, so I am going to very quickly assist her with that so that we can wrap up today with a new tier 4 barracks here in heaven. And that's it, just been completed right there to tier 4 with Ava and Elia out constructing their builds to tier 5, which are both nearly done as well, and Luella upgrading the guards tower there to tier 3. Fantastic work all around here today guys, absolutely fantastic work.